Good morning, and thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. We're right in the middle of the, the Summer Olympics, of where Olympians will be competing to win the gold medal and bring it back with pride. They'll be going against other competitors that are working as just as hard as they are to get that gold. But when you look at that, and in life, business, really, what's your true competition? Is it your competitors outside the four walls of your business on the other side of the arena? Or is it us? Here's 10 areas we need to focus on where the real competition is. Number one, procrastination. Procrastination is your competitor. Procrastination is keeping you from taking the action to get to the next step to grow both personally and professionally. Every time you hold back on taking action, it's taking you that much longer to get to where you want to go. Number two, your ego. Ego means edging God out. Self-made. No one's self-made. We all get to the top of the mountain eventually because a lot of people have helped us get there, guided us there, and really backed us up when we needed their assistance. Number three, an unhealthy diet. Get plenty of rest. Drink lots of water. Eat the right foods. Take care of yourself. You only have one body. You might as well take care of it. So keep your body and mind strong. Speaking of the mind, number four, a ne neglect to learn extra knowledge. I spoke to an attorney one day and I asked him what books he's read lately. He goes, oh, I don't read books. I said, how come? I took the bar. I'm like, what does that mean? He goes, I took the bar. I said, oh, so you decided to stop learning once you took the bar? He didn't necessarily like it, but we must continue to learn. The, the environment is moving ahead very quickly. We need to keep on taking additional knowledge so we can stay ahead of the curve. Number five, lack of discipline. It's easy to let everything just fall into our laps. It's easy not to get up early in the morning. It's easy not to go to the gym. It's easy not to manage our thoughts. It takes discipline to do it. So discipline yourself to do the right things so you can be on your A game day in and day out so you can achieve your best. Number six, distractions. Don't be chasing the shiny objects. Be very intentional on where you need to put your time, focus, and energy because if you're not, you're going to get distracted. Seven, bad habits. First we make our habits, then our habits make us. Develop good habits and then it will become natural to you because if you don't, we're going to acquire bad habits and they will become natural to us and it's not going to serve us in life or business. Number eight, and most importantly, negative thoughts. The only thing we can truly control is how we think. So if you're going to think, you might want to think positive thoughts because there's a lot of noise out there that can seep in if you don't control and take care of your garden. Number nine, your self-doubt. We all have doubt. We all have fear but we need to pursue and push through it. You want to get through your self-doubt? Some, get somebody, a mentor, a coach, that sees more in you than you see in yourself. And when your image of you catches up to their image of you, that's where you will get to where you want to go. And most importantly, number 10 really wraps it up. Your competition isn't the other business across the street or the other business on the internet or that guy down the road that does the same thing you do, or the person on the other side of the arena that is also going for that goal. Your real competition is you. So do whatever you can to make you the best you so there is no competition. I want to thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. I want to wish you a productive, proper week, and I will see you next Monday. Thank you. Hi, Coach Michael here. If you have the desire to take yourself, your team, and your organization to the next level, I have the book 
for you. Knock it out of park leadership, the ABCs of building entrepreneurial success. My name is Coach Michael Dill. I'm a certified award-winning business coach, global speaker, and published author. I wrote this book for you, the business owner, the entrepreneur, the leader that is willing to do what it takes to go to the next level. I have 27 principles and lessons in this book that once applied in your organization and on yourself, it will increase clarity, communication, and confidence. It will increase ownership, leadership, and retention amongst your team. And most importantly, if you're a business owner, productivity, revenues, and profits. And let's face it, that's what we're looking for in the bottom line of any business. So August 31st, Tuesday, this book is coming to you. Take time, go to Amazon, click it up, get it, read it, and it'll change your business and change your life. Stay tuned for further updates as this book comes closer and closer to you. Thank you.